Hi everyone, welcome to another Kivi MD tutorial. Today I'm going to cover the uh, MD date picker, MD time picker, and MD theme picker widgets. So I've got a little demonstration here so we can see uh, what they look like. And okay, so here's the, the date picker. You can choose any date you want. Um, the current day's date is highlighted, and you can go back and forth between months. Okay. And also that one's kind of neat because it changes based on the orientation of your app. So here you can see it looks different than when it's uh, sort of in the, in the portrait mode or landscape mode. Okay, now this is the time picker. You can choose the hour and then it automatically goes to the time here. Then you can switch to AM or PM and click OK. And then you've also got the theme picker. And the theme picker changes the, uh, the color theme for your actual app. So it's not it's not like a color picker, it just changes the, the color of your of your app. You can choose the theme. Um, you can see down here and up here it changes uh, the color there, and the accent color, and also the style. Maybe I like the black style. Okay, so let's go over the code and figure out how to actually get these implemented. So as I always do, I go over my project folder. So in my project, all I have is I've copied over the KVMD uh, file or folder with all the KVMD stuff in there. And then I have my main.kv and my main.py file. My main.py file right now is blank, um, pretty much. I've just got my uh, base app here with nothing in it, except I've, all, I've imported the theme manager from kvmd.theming, and I've initialized theme manager um, and given it to this theme underscore CLS variable. That's really important. Okay, in the kv code, um, what I have here is just a box layout, so a container for my widgets. And then I have three MD raised buttons. Uh, those are just buttons and uh, that's all I have. So if I run the app right now from, from the start, from scratch, here's what I have and the buttons don't do anything, okay? So first thing we need to do is get a callback for our buttons. So I'll say on release, I'll say app.show um, date picker. All right, now let's go make the show date picker function in my app class. So I'll say def show date picker, okay? And I need to import the date picker or the MD date picker widget. So from kvmd.uix.picker, import MD date picker. There you go. Now the MD date picker is like a pop up. It's actually, uh, it inherits from the modal view class in Kivi. So you have to instantiate it. So I'll say like uh, picker is MD date picker. And then you also need to do picker.open to actually show um, show the pop-up. So right now it won't work because it requires this callback um, argument. Callback is basically the function to call when the user clicks OK in the date picker. So I'll say self dot um, got date. Okay, now I need to go make this self dot got date function. And remember, don't call the function like that. You just pass in the name of the function that will be called um, when somebody selects a date. Okay, so I'll say def got date self, and it takes one argument, which is the date. Maybe I'll say the date. Okay, now I'll just print the date and let's see what we have going on. So I will run my app again, and I'll click my first button here, and there you go, my uh, MD date picker opens, and automatically you can see it scales based on the orientation. And if I click one of the dates and click OK, then you can see I've printed out my date down here. Now this, uh, this variable, the date here, this is actually a date time uh, object. So you can print like the date dot um, year, and you can do print the date, oops, dot month, and you can do the date dot day. So if I run this again, you can see that um, it's easy to get all the all three, the year, the date, and the month that the user selected. So maybe I'll click uh, November 15th, 2019. And here you see the year, month, and day. I printed out 2019, 11 for November, and 15 for the day. All right, so there you go. That's the MD date picker, which is a really nice um, uh, widget. So let's go to the next one. We're going to do the MD time picker now. So on my next button, I'll say on release, and I want to show my time picker, or uh, yeah, show the time picker. So I'll create a new function called show time picker. 
well, I'll call this function. And now I have to go create the showtime picker function in my app class. So I'll go back to Python and I'll say def show time picker. It takes self. And now I need to import the time picker. So also from the kvmd.uix.picker module, I need to import md time picker. There you go. And same thing, we have to say picker equals md time picker. And the time picker functions a little bit differently. Um, you don't actually pass a callback here. So this callback is you, you don't write anything. It's not like the MD date picker. Um, what you need to do is say picker dot bind and then time equals. And now this is where you specify your callback function. So I'll say self dot got time. Okay, so basically what this line here is doing is it's saying anytime the time changes in my MD time picker, I want to call this got time function. And then we'll do picker.open. So let me go create this self.gottime function. Dev got time. And this one takes um, two arguments this time. The first is the um, picker widget. So the picker widget will automatically pass itself, a reference to itself, to this got time function here. And um, also the time. So I'll print the time because I don't really care about the picker widget. So let's go ahead and uh, run the code now and see if my MD time picker comes up. So here I go. There's my time picker as I showed in the demo. Um, I can click the time, no problem, and hit OK. And there you go. So I printed the time now, which was 220900, which makes sense because I've clicked 10 p.m., which is the 22nd hour, um, and I clicked nine minutes in. And this time is uh, also like a date daytime object. So I can print time.hour, I can print time.minute, and I can print time.second. And if I run it again, we can see what that looks like. So here you go. <clears throat> click a different time. And I go back, and you can see I click 2, 34, and 0 seconds. So that's how you work with the MD time picker widget. Also a very nice and handy one. And last but not least, we'll get the theme picker. So back to the KV code. Let me create, um, or let me give this this last button an onRelease function. So I'll say when you release me, app dot show theme picker. Okay. Now I need to go create this app dot show theme picker function. So I'll go here and I'll say def show theme picker self. And now, as we've done with these guys, I need to import. Uh, just as I've done before from kvmd.uix.picker, import MD theme picker. There you have it. So I'll say picker is MD theme picker. And this one also, you do not specify a callback function. So there's um, nothing in here. And then I'll say picker.open. And this one, you don't need a callback function at all because the whole point of this theme picker is it just changes the color theme of your app by default, that's what this theme picker does. Um, so this is all we need. We can go ahead and run the app. And when I click my third button here, the theme picker, you can see I've got uh, my theme picker popped up and I can choose the main color for my app, which changes the colors here. And also like any any time that the theme underscore CLS dot primary uh, color changes, that's what this changes pretty much. Okay, and I can change the accent you can see this little color here changed, if you're able to see that. And then the style, I can go from dark to light, and then I can close. And there you have it. So that's all the picker widgets in the KVMD library. Uh, I hope that was helpful, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.